Yo, how's it going guys? Welcome to episode 105 of the Iron Man series and please enjoy today's episode. Damn, how long has it been since I last leveled something guys? Probably a long time. Anyway, it's just at 79 mining so... So technically I'm one level away and then I can just boost uh, to mine Brunette Rocks for Master Clues. But obviously it's a pain in the ass with the timer nowadays so... I would probably just continue mining here AFK whenever I want to, you know, even past 80. But yeah, that's cool though. We got 187k to 80. Okay, that would be a cool milestone to get. So I believe this week I'm going to be uh, taking the 90 crafting grind a bit more seriously. So in order to, you know, do all that, I need some cash. All I gotta do really is out quite a bit of cash. Uh, I think about 10 mil plus cash to buy all the runes that I need. So I don't have to have everything that I got, but I just need to get myself around an extra 10 or so mil to get all the runes that I need. But I'm going to be uh, using the tall fire and just alking doing Slayer. So I'll sacrifice my shield slot, because this thing counts as infinite fires, and it doesn't degrade if I use uh, fire related spells that isn't combat, so high level alchemy is not going to actually use up any of my charges on this book, so that's really nice. Just got a black dragon task. So on the last episode, I mentioned that they uh, decreased the KVD spawn timer to 10 seconds. Oh nice, I got a 500 KC. First trip with a 10 second timer and holy shit. This is kind of crazy bro. Like I, I barely have time to do anything. As soon as like this kill's done, I already have to like get ready for the next kill. Like no, not even a second like to spare. It's crazy. But yeah, overall though, faster task. So I guess not a bad trade off. And that is the KBD task completed. Now let's just say this task was uh, super super fast. Like any moment now KBD is going to spawn. So I need to like get the heck out of here. But uh, basically I did the math. I have 55 to kill. So that means I uh, save myself 20 seconds each kill after the update. And uh, yeah, 55 kills, 20 seconds each. I saved myself about 18 minutes a task for a size this big. This update is a huge deal because... Basically, you save a third of an hour every time you do a KBD task, so. So, I'm gonna be uh, switching over, I guess, to Baba Yaga's magic shop to buy my runes and whatnot. Uh, I'm here, right now, getting some astro runes real quick. I'm gonna make myself a lunar altar, so I can switch between lunars real fast for, like, tasks and stuff. So, quick update, do not buy nature runes from Baba Yaga's shop, or probably any of the runes here, for a matter of fact. Except for the astros. Astros, even though, like, you know... There's 10 left, it's only 175, so it's not bad, but freaking nature runes, dude. When you get like close to finishing out the stock, dude, it's like 688 GP for a freaking nature rune here. So yeah, definitely a bad idea to buy here, unless you don't really give a shit about money, but Wizard Guild is a lot cheaper, so. So I decided I'm gonna go and make myself an occult altar, just because I don't really use this Feral Scepter much anymore. So it's just convenient, you know, to get a Slayer task from here on Lunars and just go on bursting when I need to for raids or like any other Slayer tiles like Dust Devil so having it all here is gonna be fine. Uh, there's some pretty good uses with the Bulwark uh, that I can use right now. So this thing has a really crazy AOE spec, it's 5x5 five five, so if I like spec one of these right now, it will hit like all of them around a big area as you can see. So like places like uh, the Necrails, Absolute Demons, using that spec you can pretty much aggro all of them at once with just this spec so it's really nice there's plenty of other uses for the dins i plan to showcase them more when i actually do use them but yeah that's one of the examples i guess give me my next task come on greater demons anything like that black demons that's nice maybe tomorrow i'll get my uh, last remaining xanax shard what a tank all right <gasps> oh my god <gasps> holy shit on 50 KC. Oh my god. Yo! What the hell? Dude! Holy shit, I'm gonna go broke. I gotta spend 50 mil with you guys each. I think it's a little more than that. It's 150 mil right now. Is it? No. Yeah, no, I'm serious. It's because they made it co more common. Holy shit! Oh. That's fucking crazy, yo. Rigor on this guy, dude. Oh my god, that's fucking tight. Okay, so I'm still in the raids room. Oh my god, I've just been here for like minutes now. Okay, let's get the hell out of here and um, go.
go ahead and unlock the rigor Jesus man that's just insane wow I am about to spend 150 mil in just one click basically if you think about it I'm not gonna get it back once I use this but it's all good you know I've already split it with my friends on my main account 50 mil a pop per person so this is all mine all oh mine guys you can make out some fainted words on the ancient parchment it appears to be an archaic invocation of the gods would you like to absorb his power hell yeah I do oh well, here we go that's it rigor unlocked on the Iron Man account so rigor is such a huge step up from ego eye so ego eye is 15% range accuracy and damage and rigor is 20% range accuracy and 23% range uh, strength so it's 5% more accuracy uh, against the Eagle Eye and 8% more damage against the Eagle Eye. So that is freaking crazy. It's like imagine that stacking with Void, which it does stack. And of course, like Slayer Helm or any of that, it does stack as well. So that's crazy. Using that stuff at like Armadillo boss, that is going to be so nice. There's so many applications to use Rigor on. I mean, it's going to really give me a huge edge to get more rewards at race because Rigor is gonna really help out since a lot of monsters involve range so being able to do a maximum damage capability is just so nice man i cannot wait to showcase rigor at its finest on this iron man in future contents to come so just a little test with rigor right now at wyverns and are you guys seeing these hits look at the hits on this shit oh my god fucking 45 what the hell man just seeing such freaking high hits with raw bolts alone is scary. So if I use diamond bolts for bossing, I'm gonna be hitting 50s, guys. I shit you not, 50s. That's just a crazy, crazy first impression. So I'm definitely gonna be featuring a bit more stuff with the rigor since it is relatively new uh, prayer and it's definitely currently one of the, like the best metas right now for range, of course. So I guess the reason why it's so expensive even though they made it four times as common now to get it from raids is because it is so good. So I'll definitely get back to you guys more on that with some of like, you know, the XP rates and the uses and whatnot. It's going to be pretty exciting for sure. So I'll be wrapping up today's episode here, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. It's a little shorter, but the next few episodes will be back to normal. I was away for uh, two days, so... I wasn't able to get as many things in the video as I could but I really wanted to show you guys the rigor moment so that you don't have to wait like an extra two days or whatever uh, to see the event so that you know you guys can see it as close to live as possible if you are new to the channel and you would like to stay up to date with future episodes consider subscribing to the channel and as usual if you enjoyed today's video feel free to give it a like as well I would highly appreciate that other than that, I hope to see you guys soon with some massive games on the next episode for sure. Alright, take care guys.